It's amazing seeing the mix of different species and people and, and kinds of characters. We're in these incredible, fantastic worlds and planets. Because this franchise is so large and so huge and so tremendous, there are many stories that have yet to be told. Take nine, Mark. Set a course for Pagano. When you're working inside of the motion capture volume, you have cameras on the ceilings, on the sides, and on your face. And they're capturing every single bit of your biomechanics. We can literally run and chase each other and jump and take swings at each other, so... It's the closest to playing in my backyard at eight years old of any job I've ever had. Action. Please welcome Cameron Monaghan to the stage. I'm Cameron Monaghan. I play Cal Kestis in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Cal was a young Jedi Padawan during Order 66 when all of his kind were murdered. He escaped and managed to hide out on the scrap planet of Braca. He became a, a scrap worker and someone in hiding and someone kind of paranoid and fighting for his life. What's this? A Braca scrap rat playing Jedi. And also he's rough around the edges and I think he kind of does like to fight too. <laughs> Gonna need to get through here. Ah. Healing stem. You're full of surprises. BD1, our buddy droid, is uh, a wonderful addition to the droid family. He was sort of designed as like an adventure companion. By having me operating uh, uh, this little guy as a placeholder for the animators. It's also nice for the, for the other actors to have something to play opposite, and so that's kind of fun, because then I can inject a little personality, I feel, that, that BD-1 has. The two of them have a really wonderful relationship. In many ways, okay. I think Cal's kind of best friend across the story. The moves on <laughs> Okay, shut that thing off and grab some seed. Seer and Grease uh, enter into Cal's life explosively, and I think that Cal is of two minds about it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. I think that ultimately he has to do this mission because this is what he was made for. He's a Jedi trying to restore balance. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? Seer Junda completely cut the Force out of use in her life. I had an experience that changed my perspective. And she decided that she would not use the Force because using it might pose a threat to not only her, but to others, which it already did to a certain extent. Yeah, the Manus is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. Green's Dreadus is not, let's say, the most affable Latiron, he's had some hardship in life. He doesn't trust people too much. What is that? <laughs> Get off my sofa! Get... I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He's got something he's running from, and uh, it puts our hero in a, in a very precarious position. Let's see what he's got. Damn it, Grease. But, by the way, a nice guy. Heart of gold. This place seems abandoned, but... You trespass, Jedi. Hi, my name's Tina Ivlev. I play Marin in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. You must be a Knight Sister. Dothamir is forbidden to you. Leave at once. Easy. She's from uh, a coven that is extinct now. She's the last of her kind. She can raise the dead pretty much whenever she wants. Cal and Marin come from a similar background of loss. They, they both experienced watching those that they care about die. She's spent her entire life growing up believing that the Jedi are responsible for killing her sisters. They will have their revenge. Marin has a wall up in a similar way that Cal does at the start of the story. It takes him proving himself over and over and over and over again for her to realize, like, okay, maybe, maybe this guy is telling the truth. That was really fun for me to play because Marin is socially, like, she doesn't understand, like, what a normal relationship between people looks like. Sorry. 
Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. My name is Elizabeth Grudjon, and I play the second sister. She was training to be a Jedi, and her master ended up betraying her not only by leaving her behind, but then also by giving up her location to the Empire. It plays out in such an angry and powerful way when, when she becomes a second sister. What it taught her is to love is to die, and to kill is safety. She was tortured to the point in which psychologically and emotionally the damage had been done. She's already lost everything, so she doesn't care about dying. There's a recklessness. It's like, I'll jump on the top of your ship and bring it down while I'm on it. Like, I don't care. I'm doing a dialect as the character, which just came to me very naturally. Who is your master? Padawan. Someone I killed, perhaps. She really enjoys hurting and wounding, so I wanted to hear that pleasure in her voice. <laughs> Not bad. You're learning. And cut. Okay. Now, I've done a lot of character makeup stuff, where I've sat in a makeup chair for four hours, five hours, before I got to the set. Getting to put Grease Dritus on and not have to go to the makeup chair, that's an extraordinary gift. The cast and crew have become such a family. The, we do warm-ups together before every rehearsal. We have breakfast and lunch together every day, so it feels like, hey, like, these are my people. I hope that people walk away with a really wonderful sense of these characters, of the, the, the adventure and story that they've been along for the journey with. You know, the story is about learning to trust in, and trusting in the Force and, and what that means. It's about coming together for a mutual purpose and to trust in the fact that ultimately, if you do the work, then maybe, just maybe, the tide will change.